Durham dropped her oral history assignment on top of the stack of papers on my desk. Cyprus, Eastern Mediterranean, 1996. Her report told Asli's story, a Turkish elder in Durham's village in Cyprus. Asli talked about her childhood friend, a Greek Cypriot. Asli hadn't seen her friend in over 20 years since the war, partition, and population exchange in 1974. Asli longed to visit her friend again someday when the borders might open. Over the years, I saw Asli's story on my website for Cypriot oral histories. In 2003, the first border crossing opened in Cyprus, and I thought of Asli and many other Cypriots and wondered if they had been able to find their childhood friends or if they even wanted to. The question drew me back time and again, and still does, to the island, the cultures, the people. Projects with puppets, digital storytelling, and community media. Oral histories with elders in the Greek Cypriot communities talking about their childhood Turkish Cypriot friends. I never found out if Asli found her friend, but I heard Cypriot stories of kindness and brutality and personal tragedies and blessings. Brazilian educator Paulo Freire describes authentic education as changing both the student and the teacher. I see the truth in this. 